We recently gave this game kudos for its unique concept that puts you in the shoes of a real stuntman where you perform a series of over-the-top action stunts. It was developed by Reflections Interactive, the company behind the best-selling Driver series. Although they had success with their previous work, the producers wanted to put an original spin on the driving genre with their new creation. Driver was really just a pure driving game. Um, really, it was based originally on movies, but what we're trying to do with Stuntman is really draw a link between movies and the, and the games by allowing you to play the part of a stuntman who's working on an actual film. In many ways, Stuntman plays like a straightforward arcade racer, but a director shouts out commands telling you what to do. The director's asking you to perform a series of stunts, so if he, for example, asks you to drive a car, screech around a corner, smash into some barrels, and then eventually uh, cause the car to uh, barrel roll down the street, then you have to perform exactly that. So he's watching you, and you're, you're scored and rated by him at the end of the stunt. If you don't reach the required level, then you're fired, and if you do, then you can go on to the next city and then start working in the next film. To ensure an authentic look to the game, the producers enlisted the aid of legendary stuntman Vic Armstrong. While he provided the expertise from the film world, the graphics team worked on creating the 40 realistic vehicles for the game. We've got a very diverse range of vehicles in this game, ranging from cars, vans, trucks, armored cars, and jeeps. And they all handle in a very different way. There's even a snowmobile in there in one of the levels which is set in the Swiss Alps. Stuntman was created at the Reflections production offices located in Newcastle, England. Dozens of computer experts worked around the clock for two years to make this game come alive. At the moment, we're in the main production phase of the project. We've got uh, the full team working full pelt on getting the uh, code complete, the cities built, the levels uh, tidied up, all the cars implemented, the damage looking nice. Graphic animators will often specialize in different areas of the development process. While some people will work on the vehicles, others will concentrate on the full motion video cut scenes. This area is the animation area. This is where all the FMV cut scenes are made. We basically take them from storyboard to uh, in-game animated cut scene. Mike here is animating one of the scenes uh, where uh, there's some gunfire. It's starting out with it initially untextured in grey, and then it'll be, all the colour will be added later on. It's just getting everything in position, ready for it to, uh, to run together as one scene. Uh, Jack's uh, lead artist on Stuntman. Right. Well, once the, uh, all the locations were decided on Stuntman, then uh, we went on a, um, on a research trip around the world to uh, visit all the locations and took about 8,000 photographs. These photos are then painstakingly digitized into the computer, one by one, and then used for reference when producing the models for the environments. Then we build up the whole map using lots of different models. So then we take the models and uh, we export them onto the, uh, onto the PlayStation 2, into the game. And now you can see the, uh, the model in place in the game as it will appear in the, in the level. It looks like all this hard work has paid off for the development team, resulting in a unique title. Whoever thought flying a car through the air and bursting into a spectacular fireball could be so fun?